Hey guys, it's Waterfreight660 and welcome back to another Pokemon Shield Let's Play video. This is episode number 13, and in the last video, I arrived from Hammerlock and reached here to the beginning of Route 6. Um, I evolved my Pokemon, um, and I learned more about the more Galar lore, like the Wishing Stars and the Legendaries and how Galar runs and stuff like that. You should watch the video, it makes more sense. Also, Hop is secretly depressed, and we met this n random character named Opal. So yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be venturing through Route 6 and going to Stone Side to defeat the gym. Today is going to be a ginormous video. I just want to, you know, get through the Galar region instead of just taking my time. And I, and Stone Side's not that far away. We have to go through Route 6 anyway, and it seems like... There's fossil restoration and diglet sculptures on this route, so yeah, that'll be nice. Um, before I begin, let's go ahead and check out my Pokemon, which I have to mention like so many times so I don't forget. They evolved, okay? Uh, my Raboot, which is Fora, evolved into a Cinder Ace. Flowbug, the Orbeetle, is still an Orbeetle. We have Moko the Dreepy, a Colon the Colossal. Elos the Inteleon, and Shay the Boltent. As you can see, their levels are different compared to last video because I used a ton of candies on them and kind of went wild. Um, the last gym badge said that Pokemon up to level 50 can obey me, so I'm not going to be using Shay anytime soon. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Route 6 seems to be nice and, well, kind of a desert. I don't want to really encounter any of these wild Pokemon, but last video I did see these trainers and I want to do a battle because I think it'll be nice. So let's begin our Route 6 journey by facing medical team Iwin and Evelyn. Interesting. Also, that doctor looks really depressed. Why is depression a theme of this game? Nonetheless, we got four on Slowbug out first, which... I don't know if it is convenient. I think it is. Um, we're definitely going to be able to take down the Ponyard with a... Um, ooh, right. We can take it down with a Pyro Ball. That's right. And Flowbug. Um, we can't use it on... Uh, we can't use the Psychic on Ponyard because Ponyard is dark type. And also... You missed your Pyro Ball. Fun! I love missing Pyro Ball. But that Psychic did a ton of damage to Togetic. Uh, that Metal Claw didn't do that much. And good thing Flowbug dodging the Ancient Power thanks to the Power of Affection. Let's use Double Kick. Uh, it's better than wasting, uh, you know, turns on... Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's, that's why I used Double Kick. I should have used Double Kick last time, but... Flowbug is going to hopefully take down this next um, Togetic. Also, we're probably not going to be getting a lot of experience. We are literally level 44, and we are facing Pokemon that are 10 levels lower. I was going to uh, keep this playthrough at a moderate level, but, you know, that's not happening anytime soon. But that's fine. We defeated the medical team, and we're getting a lot of money from trainers. It seems like trainers and Galar are really expensive and rich. This, uh, see, this route seems to be very diverse and has elevation, which is nice. We got a backpacker over here. I came from far away to watch the gym challenge. I'd love the opportunity to battle a gym challenger. Interesting. We got backpacker Diane over here. Um, a, ooh, she got a thumbs up. Ooh, a sock. Interesting. Um, hopefully Fora is able to take it down. I know that it's just only fighting type, so it shouldn't... I think we're gonna be okay. Um, let's go ahead and use Double Kick. Um, this Pokemon may be tanky. Yeah, it is really tanky. I feel like we might have to use Pyro Ball next time. I don't want to use too much Pyro Ball because it we can only use Pyro Ball five times as of now. And it seems like Sock really likes using Double Kick. You know what? We're just going to use Double Kick again. Seems to be pretty effective. Look at all that damage. And uh, Sock is down. And I think by the Backpacker is also down as well. Let's move on. Muy dramatico. Fantastico. So she's from Kalos? <laughs> I don't know. Interesting. That's really interesting. We got a ton of split paths, as you can see. There were three ladders at the beginning. Let's climb up this ladder. Oh, there seems to be a Pokemon camp. And a TM. And Diglett Sculptures. We got the TM15 of Dig. 
we barrel into, barrel into the ground and attack next turn. Also, we're going to talk to this lady. We're going to visit the camp because it's super cool and also gives us um, a place where we can fly to if we want to fast travel to this route. Um, we got this woman over here. Let's see what she does. Name's Carlis. It's the pun. I'm researching fossils, huh? Fossils in Galar are broken into top halves and bottom halves for some reason, huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this mystery lies the key to understanding these combinable Pokemon, huh? Oh, so this is the fossil restoration place. Interesting. Kind of found this kind of tucked in area, but let's continue on going into the main area. I want to explore as much as possible. Um... I don't want to miss any items because that always is a pain. Also, there seems to be a ladder over there, so we might have to access a different route in order to get to it. Um, it seems like this ladder just leads here, but there is that ladder closest to the entrance of Route 6. Oh, it just goes up here. I guess we can just battle this trainer real quick. Um, a model who also strong in battle. That's who I am. Interesting. Model Nicola. Wait, what? N Nicola? Nicola? N Pepsi Cola. <laughs> We're gonna use Fora and destroy this Scorupy um, with a nice. Um, We're gonna use Pyro Ball against this thing because it is poison and bug. So let's kick our pebble at the um, bug and destroy. The model still has one more Pokemon left. We got Ponyard again. Jeez, why is this Pokemon so common? We're gonna use Double Kick because it was successful last time and the Pokemon levels are pretty much the same. Just imagine, like, a Cinderace just going hi -ya in the face. Just like, <laughs> like, just into the Ponyard's face. Like, mmm, that metal, it's pretty uh, smashing, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and go down here. Um,. Because we didn't go down here or reach there before. Also, that was a very, very weird ladder entrance, that's for sure. So, let's go over here. There seems to be a ledge. Ooh, berry tree. Let's go ahead and shake it, shake it, shake it. Um, let's not shake too much. I don't want to battle my Pokemon. And we'll shake one more time. And then we're going to be done because I don't want to run too green. And so we're going to pick up our six berries, Citrus, Lepa, and Ross in Prism. Um, we got a, another trainer over here. Are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? No, I'm not. I'm probably going to do that in post-game, though, Ruth. Um, she's going to send out a throw. Interesting. So we got the counterpart over here. Fora is getting a ton of attention today. Maybe I should switch to a different Pokemon. <laughs> um... Let's use Double Kick again. Um, I think Throw's a little bit more tankier than Sock, though. Yeah. A lot more t tankier. Uh, it's gonna use Storm Throw. Interesting. At least it's not Circle Throw. Okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna use Pyro Ball. Maybe next time we can use Counter. Because I know Throw is gonna be definitely attacking us, so it can dwindle our health. And I guess Pyro Ball is just so overpowered and broken that we have to destroy Throw in one hit. So yay us. And we defeated Backpacker Ruth. Alrighty, we're gonna have to go down here. Um, oh, okay, I thought we had to go in the grass. That's stupid. That is the most stupid thing ever. Oh, but we did get a TM. For Steel Wing, which is nice. That was worth it. The target is hit with Wings of Steel and raises the user's defense once in a while. So that's nice. Let's climb back up this pretty much useless path and avoid the Galarian Yaw Masks. And go down here. And oop, there's an item. A rare candy. Okay, is this it? This might be it. Let's read the sign. Trainer tips. You can use each technical machine as many times as you like. Yep, I knew that. And technical records break. Which we get only from max raid battles. I guess this is not the way that the other ladder at the entrance was going. Maybe it was a different entrance. I mean, a different thing. So let's quickly go backtrack. 
Um, is there like a, an item? Yeah, that's what I figured. Two rare bones. I think those are like items that you can sell. So let's go back down here. Seems like it's a different area or not. And we encounter a Galarian Yamas. Alrighty, here's the beginning entrance. It Definitely not interesting. It's just a puddle of water, it seems like. Also, why can't I go down these ladders? That's kind of awkward. But that's pretty much it for the ladders over here, I guess. We were we were going the right way. So let's head back, and um, we're going to go under that rock. Tr uh, like, uh, the arc of rock or whatever, and battle that trainer that I saw. So let's quickly go up the ladder. You know what's the meme here? It's like everyone freezes. Like, every single model on screen freezes, except your character when you're on the ladder. But we got this creepy artist. I am... Oh! Holy... Oh, oh. This dude's insane. Just look at the face. Let's go ahead and switch my Pokemon. Oh, neutralizing gas, okay. Um, that negates all the abilities on the field, except neutralizing gas, of course, because that wouldn't make any sense. Um, let's go ahead and switch to Flowbug, because I know that Flowbug is going to do much better against a coughing than um, Cinderace will. So, let's... Uh, or it can just, like, explode. That works, too. Man, this game is really depressing sometimes. Ah, uh, Elo, nobody gained any new levels, but Pseudo Wudo is a grass and rock type. You know what? We can try and destroy this thing, right? We can use Psychic on it. It's not that specially defensive, so it should be able to take it down. And has Sturdy. Fun. That's fine. Um, we did our best, and Rock Slide's gonna be super effective. We are Bug type. That was a bad decision, but hey. We're getting experience on Flowbug, and that's all that matters. We can use Psychic one more time and defeat Duncan the Artist, which is the creepiest thing on the planet, honestly. It looks like it wants to kill you, and, you know, we already have problems. So, yeah, but for her to level 46, she's going to learn Bounce. Bounce is up high, then drops the target on the second turn. Okay, I guess... We can get rid of Double Kick, because we don't have a Flying-type move on our team yet. This is the first one that we're learning, so I think Bounce is going to be really important. But Duncan, we defeated. Your moves are beautiful on mine, completely fascinated by them. And uh, getting so much money, and that's all I care about. So let's go over here. It seems like we got Diglett sculptures over here. They look pretty nice, and I can already see the next town already. Man, good thing we're going to be challenging the gym in today's video. Looks like we are here and Stow Inside. Welcome to Stow Inside. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's begin. We are in the town of Stow Onside, or Stow Inside is like what, what I call it. A vibrant town that has grown up around as ancient mural tucked away in the mountains. Okay, I probably did English right there, but hey, let's go into the Pokemon Center, heal my Pokemon, and let's go ahead and progress towards the gym. I think our Pokemon are ready. We are definitely overpowered, and what is Cinderace looking at? I have no idea. And let's quickly um, kind of explore this town a little bit before we do um, progress. So there seems to be a market over here. Shake a shake a shake a Welcome, have a look at our bargains. Ooh, there's a bargain. And today's bargain is a Nevermount Ice. Nope, we don't have an ice type. No, no, I absolutely not. Next bargain, I'm gonna get a magnet. Okay, so that's tomorrow's, but we already have a magnet, so I guess this guy just gives us bargains, you know? And then we got uh, this other dude. Oh, he's gonna... Today I'm buying a mom bus room for 25000 Oh, looks like you brought what I needed here. I'll buy that all mushroom for 25000 You know what? Give me the money. I don't care about mushrooms. Yes. We got extremely lucky with the money. Holy cow. And then we got a lady over here. My uncle's Pokemon here is slacking up. The Pokemon that we hired for the Poke job is looking sharp, though. Interesting. And... Abuse. Abuse. 
What is, is this abducted by aliens here? Come on. Um, I want to wear bronze on my head. No, don't do that to yourself. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to the same person. Can bronze on really make it rain? I can make it rain with my money. <laughs> oh, what is this kid doing? Um, um, where is your mouth? I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna grab these special attacks and run. Why not buy some ruined souvenirs? They're quite valuable, you know. You can only get them here. I've already got enough luggage, mate. They do look cool, though. Okay, and we got Hop over here. Floda. Jeez, that... Dude, this is not okay. This is what I mean by Hop is depressed. I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger. Right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. You're on. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. You know what? I, I'm glad that Hop is battling me. Usually I don't like rivals that battle me, but you know what? I think we're ready to do this. He's gonna set out a Cramorant, which he didn't have before, so... Let's switch out. All I'm after is victory, and I'm counting on you to help me grab it. No. Just because you're half depressed doesn't mean, you know. Also, my Pokemon are, like, super high level. Um, you know what? We'll use Shay, even though... Okay, that didn't work. Let's use Shay, and hopefully not level up, because I don't want a Pokemon not to listen to me. So, Shay is gonna send out um, some awesome thunder attacks and whatnot. I am super tired and should not be recording the video, but hey, <laughs> we're gonna use Wild Charge. Um, it was a new move that I think um, that I learned out of video. That definitely killed the Cramorant because it is water and flying. Who would aim for a super effective if they had the chance, right? Indeed. So, Cramorant's down. That's a very interesting Pokemon to use. And the next Pokemon... Oh, so close. Moko and Colon are almost going to level up. Silicobra. Okay, that is a ground type, so let's quickly not look at... What is with me today? Can I switch, please? Can I just... Can I just Nintendo switch? Come on. Like, seriously. We're going to send out Elos. Snipe shot this Silicobra down. I just feel really bad for kind of, uh... Destroying Hop's Pokemon? Like, honestly. <laughs> well, let's just use Snipe Shot. I don't, I don't think Elos is gonna care. He's just gonna go like, pew! And just gonna snipe the Silicobra. Um, good job, Elos. And Silicobra is down. We got two more Pokemon on the other team, which is probably Wulu and uh, Raboot. And so close to leveling up. We got Toxel. Okay, I thought he was going to sound out his Wooloo. Toxel is poison and electric. So, it's only weak to... What is wrong with me? Let me switch my Pokemon. Gosh dang it. So, yeah, Toxel is four times weak to ground and weak to psychic. So, let's set up Flowbug. This is a very interesting choice that he's going. He's going... He's using something different, which is interesting. So I guess we're gonna one-shot this Toxel. Poor Toxel. Um, and good job, Flowbug. And we're gonna hopefully level up. Moko and Colin leveled up. That's a good thing. And no new moves. And he's gonna set out his Raboot. So let's quickly get out. You know what? We're gonna use Colin. Because Elos... Despite learning Snipe Shot, and we can just snipe Raboot down. Blasting, or running, or crashing into Raboot's better. I don't know what I could do to try to win now, but all I can do is try. So let's go ahead and destroy this Raboot with Rock Blast. Let's go up you. But they're going to use Double Kick, which is super effective on a colon, but it's not doing a lot of damage. So let's use Rock Blast. How's that? Super effective damage. I'm always looking for an opening. 
Okay, let's use Rock Blast on the Raboot. Two shots. Very impressive, Cohen. Good job. Hop is defeated. Hopefully, he gains some of that confidence back, you know? So, yeah. Good thing we cheered him up. My strategy goes right to Potch when I forgot all these bad thoughts are running through my head. Please, Hop. Don't think of those bad thoughts. You're, pr you're a pretty good rival. Hmm. What was that? I try switching my team members in and out to max out the potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. Hop! You know what? I'm not letting this happen. You shut up. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. And I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough! I've got to try harder! And harder and harder till no one's laughing! I'm off, mate! Off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. And that... is what I'm looking for. Ah! <laughs> Opal! That child. Didn't tell her to battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Okay, Boomer. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch a battle. And stalking me like last time? Oh, Alistair's lead card. Now, on to Ghost Child. You're heading to the Still Inside Stadium next. No. The gem challenge is about having fun. She walks the slowest. What the heck? Alrighty, then I guess we're gonna have to head up to the gym, but there's a ladder that we can climb up of, so let's climb it up first. Um, there seems to be some diglets. Is that a diglet date over there? That's kind of weird. Let's pick up this Pokeball. A cracked pot. Peculiarly, your team pot that can make a certain species evolve. It may be cracked, but tea pours from it. Tea poured from it is delicious. Interesting. So let's... Okay. This is a very weird area of hopping. Interesting. I wish we could explore some of the buildings a little bit more, but it is a town. Can we go in here? Oh, we can! Okay. Uh, let's check out this. Thank you for choosing my flying taxi. Please just get to as a token of my gratitude. So you're the one that um, made the flying taxis. Very interesting. And fly lets us go into the sky and start strike the target the second turn. The first airborne taxi in the Yellow region was a Corviknight. We've been keeping their traditional tradition ever since. Interesting. Okay, so we got one more house over here. There seems to be something in the back. Um, nothing in the back? Okay. Gotta make keep stirring the pot. Make sure it doesn't burn, but also don't spill it. Where's the pot? I don't see any pot. I see a pot here. I, I don't see a pot there. Temperature control is very important for cooking. You need to heat food thoroughly. You guys are standing at the stove, and there's no pot on the stove. And also, I think people are just insane here and still inside it's definitely different they have like a cracked teapot in the beginning of the room we got a diglet date and whatnot also there's something over here can we check this out quickly what is this place oh okay are we supposed i think we should be battling the gym though it's a very interesting I was, like, confused. I'm like, is there going to be an item over here? But no. I guess it's the, um, the entrance to the Glimwood Tangle. Interesting. We'll definitely be visiting that next episode. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the gym and do what we need to do. Okay, so let's check out the ball guy. Hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. That bag on your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give this very special Pokeball. Heavy ball! Ready for battle! It's good for catching heavy Pokemon. Also, he's scared. Heavy balls rock and roll and catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? If you're a fan of a big heavy Pokemon, then this is the Pokeball for you. Let's go straight to the gym and talk to this man over here and challenge it. And, well, let's go ahead and change first. Alrighty. Number 048, do your best. Why, thank you, kind sir. Now let's start our gym mission and hopefully defeat the gym leader.
Very interesting. The logo, it seems to be a ghost type gym. From the logo and everything and all the colors. Oh look, it's Dan. Allow me to explain a gym mission for Stone Side's gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate it to the left to make the cup spin left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quickly as you can and get yourself out of the sticky trouble. Now have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Thank you for telling me how this world works. Thanks, Dan. Let's go ahead and climb into this teapot and start. Oh, we're starting now. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. I thought we had to steer, but we had to spin. Like, we had to rotate it, like, put it in circles. Interesting. So I can just leave it here, but I'm not going to do it. Um, seems like this is the easy puzzle. Let's quickly go this way. It's pretty, it's an interesting, so far, interesting gym challenge. But we finished the first leg, it seems like. And there seems to be a trainer. Spin the teacups too much and gym challengers go flying. Just like the flying taxi. We got gym trainer Clive, and he- oh god. Why is everyone so creepy and still inside? Like, honestly. I understand this is a ghost-type gym, but the people are extremely weird. They're probably possessed or something, we just don't know. Let's use Pyro Ball on the Pumpkaboo, and speaking of which, this gym trainer has three Pokemon. Holy cow. Let's destroy this pumpkin boo real quick. It is a grass type, so we'll be able to destroy it pretty easily with a fire type move. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next Pokemon. And they're going to send out Phantom, which is another grass type Pokemon. Um, let's go ahead and use uh, Pyro Ball against it. Hopefully, it doesn't miss. Um, thank you, Fora. Going to use your soccer skills to destroy this pumpkin boo. I mean, Phantom. Man, I get their names confused a lot. I don't understand. And we got another Pumpkaboo. I guess we can use Pyro Ball on it again. <laughs> so let's defeat this creep real quick. And problem, we probably not... You know what? Of course we have to miss them last time. But good thing, we're going to be tanking this bullet seed. We are pretty much 10 levels. I think this gym, this gym is going to be a walk in the park. Or, let's just say, a walk in the cemetery, because it is a ghost type gym. So, we shouldn't have that much trouble. Also, I didn't know Flame Charge would one-shot that thing. I know that we're, like, super high level, but I thought... I didn't think we would be that over level. Okay, Flowbug is almost gonna grow to level 46. I would have put it in the front of the party, but it is a Psychic type, and ghosts do super effective damage against Psychic types. We defeated that trainer, so let's go ahead and do this next, um challenge. This is a definitely fun. Oh, there's a hand. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm confused. Grab me. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Rotate the stick real quick. Uh, please, come on, come on, come on. Uh, okay, now we're gonna go down. You know what this is? Isn't this like Pinko or something or whatever it's called? Pachinko? Reminds me of that pinball game. The pinball? I don't know. I'm being weird. Um, let's battle this next trainer. And back and forth, back and forth. You're spinning. Back and forth, back and forth. Me too. Back and back and back and back. So it looks like we got gym trainer Lin. Everyone is dead inside in today's video. Even me. I feel like my commentary is dead inside today. We got a Corsola. A Galarian Corsola. Which honestly looks cool. And this trainer only has one Pokemon. Let's use Moko. We haven't used Moko pretty much at all during this uh, playthrough. Mainly because it doesn't learn any new moves until level 50 when it evolves. Hopefully we can live the Hex even though we are a... We might be uh, ghost type, but we are not the strongest. Let's use Astonish because we are part ghost type and it'll do more damage. And... Did absolutely nothing. It's going to lower their defense, but raise their speed because of the weak armor. And we made the opponent flinch. Let's use it. Let's use Astonish again. I want to do this flinching spree and 
Or we can just knock it out. That works too, Moko. Thank you. Flowbug is gonna go to level 46. Our team is looking great. And we defeated Gym Trainer Lin. Lucy make, made me remember the gym leader wears a mask. Interesting. So let's continue on into the teacups. Hopefully this is the last one. Um, oh, I guess we can go over here. Hopefully it'll grab us quickly, 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 quickly. Thank you. We got a hand that pushes us down. That was kind of, kind of mean. Let's go over. I don't think we'll be able to reach the other side. Let me try. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do it. There is another hand to the left, though. So let's go ahead and spin, spin. So let's go down here. Shipping. And spin, 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 spin. Go, go, go. And we just hit the side, but that's fine. And... Alrighty then. I guess we're done. Finish. And it looks like we're ready to go up the stairs. But first, there's one more trainer that we have to battle. Can you understand what ghost-type Pokemon are weak to? I don't think so. Uh, well, ghost-type Pokemon are weak to ghost-type moves. Dark-type moves. Um, I think that's it, right? Yes, that's it, pretty much. There's a lot of ghost types with different typings, though, so... There's not really a lot of pure ghost types. Let's go ahead and use Bounce. It's a new move, and let's bounce to the rhythm. Bounce, bounce. <laughs> so let's bounce on this ghost. They're gonna use Mean Look, but, you know, we avoided the attack like a pro. It's what I call a pro gamer move. And destroying the Haunter never felt so, uh, menacing. We got some pretty good experience from that. They're gonna send out a Drifblim, which is actually part flying type. So let's go ahead and switch to Shay. Thankfully, not pressing the B button like many other times in this video. So let's use Wild Charge on the Drifblim and move on and battle the gym leader who wears a mask. So Wild Charge, boom. And Drifblim is down. We defeated Gym Trainer Roy. If you understand type matchups, it's only natural that it'd be easier to win. Alrighty, let's quickly switch our Pokemon around a little bit. Um, we're gonna switch Fora with Elos. Um, there are a couple reasons why I want to do that. Elos has the move Sucker Punch, which is a dark type move, and like I said before, ghost types are weak to dark type moves, so I, I, it would probably be best if Elos would be up in the front. But let's climb up the stairs, and we completed the gym mission, the fourth one. We're gonna be halfway done with the gym challenge, which is incredible. Go! Gym mission cleared. Alrighty. The stadium is awaiting us, everyone. We got Elos, we got Fora, Shay, Colin, Moko, and Flowbug. Let's go and defeat this ominous gym. Let's have a spooktacular time. The purple's really nice. And oh, it's the boy in the mask. And now I have Persona 5's Beneath the Mask song on. Wait, is Ali... Wait, hold on. So I'm Alistair. Here I go. Is Alistair secretly Joker confirmed? I feel like he is. Very, very ominous. Getting right into it. Party with the gym leader. Or not, because we're all depressed. <laughs> we're gonna set out Elos, and it looks like he has a Galarian Yamask. So let's quickly... Um, destroy this thing. Um, Galarian Yamask is actually a part ground type as well, so conveniently, Elos has water type moves because it is a water type. We're gonna snipe shot this thing and destroy it. Our Pokemon are 10 levels above the gym leaders, it looks like, so we're doing pretty good. Destroying Yamask. I'm um, getting some experience as well. Shay almost going to level 50. Hopefully we get this gym badge. We got Mimikyu next. Interesting. Um, Mimikyu has the disguise ability, which um, lets it take a hit but loses an eighth of its HP. 
but thanks to Snipe Shot's move, it ignores the Pokemon's moves and abilities. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm not that smart. I am literally not that smart. I thought it went through Disguise. Does it? Does it go through Disguise? No, it doesn't. Okay, I thought it was going to go through Disguise. You know what? Flota is not the, f um, the expert on Pokemon that he is, you know? Why am I speeding in third person? Mimikyu is going to use Hone Claws, which is uh, dangerous. It's going to raise its attack and speed or accuracy, whatever. Um, let's go ahead and use Snipe Shot and one shot. <laughs> Literally one shot this Pokemon. <laughs> so, yeah, let's quickly take care of the business. Alistair's Pokemon team is down a half now, which is nice. And Shea grew level 50. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, Alistair's gonna send out Curse, um, Curse Ball? Oh, that, it seems to be the evolved form of Corsola. Looks pretty interesting. Let's use Sucker Punch. Hopefully it does. Okay, I guess it didn't want to attack me. And decided to... This video is just a depressing video. All this... All this depression and bad thoughts also that was a weird zoom in sucker punch please thank you we're gonna be destroying this curse law and there is a problem though uh she did send out a um well curse is a girl also we had a critical hit for some reason i don't think it really mattered but it's a problem we are inflicted by curse so it's always gonna damage us a couple of times so yeah we can we, we can get rid of it if we switch out but I think Elos got this. Elos got this in the bag. Also, I like the zoom in here. Elos is depressed, and I'm like, I'm gonna destroy you. Um, Gengar is gonna come out now. My very last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. Alrighty, Gengar is gonna come out and deal the damage. Uh, Alistair is gonna hopefully Dynamax this, or... Gigantamax, because Gengar has a Gigantamax form in this game, and it looks pretty sick. But, in order to counter this, we must be able to Dynamax Elos! Now, Slender and Skinny Boy. <laughs> He's literally a skinny boy. Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness! And let's do this. Depresso. We got so many Depressos. Also, did you see the Corsola? The Corsola icon in his back end. Yes. The gate to literal dimensions. It is the gate to literal. It's the dimen It's distortion world. That's what it is. Elos is going to use max darkness. And Gengar is gone in one shot. There goes the nuke portal. We're wait, Gengar's a nether portal. He's a nether portal. I never thought of it that way. But it looks like we can fit through that portal pretty easily with the max darkness, and now I'm getting things weird. We defeated Alistair. I nearly lost my mask from the shock. That was. Wow. I can see your skill for what it is. Indeed. Thanks, Alistair. Crumbs. Breadcrumbs. That was Ace. Here. A ghost badge. Oh my god, we're taller than him. That's so funny. But we got our fourth gym badge. Let's go. We're halfway done with the gym challenge already. We can now catch Pokemon up to level 40. Good. Good luck with, uh, uh, everything. Why, thank you, Alistair. <sighs> Challenger Flota, you've defeated our gym leader, Alistair. Take this TM as a reward for your victory. Hex. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't want to unleash a hex on anyone else. This relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. And a complimentary ghost-type uniform. Nice. Can't wait to wear it. <laughs> the ghost badge suits you. You're right on track, Flota. Thanks for telling me that I'm... I blame Stolen Side if I'm diagnosed with depression. Anyways, let's escape, or 
escape. Let's get out of the stadium and um, see what uh, the story has in store. Bow Wark. Ooh, we got Sunny. Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we'll run. We've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stoneside? It's said to tell the story of the hero Galar as well. Though, what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Oh, why, thank you. Kaboom? What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Ling Yang Camper. I actually didn't visit the ruins before I visited the gym, so that was kind of a big boo-boo. Um, we got the stone side stadium over here. Let's go ahead. Oh, there's another sign. Come see the famed site of stone side. Discover the history of the Galar region. Interesting. More history. We all love history of the Galar region. I do like the theme of this town, though. It's really nice. And we got Sunny over here. What's going up on there? Interesting. We got an item over here, so let's take a max revive. Holy cow. Revise, revise our Pokemon to the max. Let's talk to this lady right here. I've seen you before. Are you a gym challenger? Yes. I guess we can go there and ramen noodles. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. What is... What is that? We got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if you want to please him. Hopra ha! If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. What in the frickin' world is he doing? Oh, oh my, you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? favor? No, I don't care about wishing stars. You're going down, son. That's the way of things, is it? I see, so... You do have some cunning in you, but I won't allow it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. I don't cocky. Bead. Stupid ramen noodles. He's gonna send out Duosian. It's been a while since we've last uh, battled him. We battled him last time in the gala mine number two. So, yeah. He's, um, got our Pokemon healed, thankfully. Um, so Elos is able to use Sucker Punch when... You know, Duosion uses light screen. Sucker Punch only works when the Pokemon attacks you, and then you get priority. Please hit the Pokemon. Thank you. I hate ramen noodles. That came out wrong. I kind of like ramen in real life, but I don't like ramen noodles in here. Hmm, if I already see more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Yes. Don't be biased. <laughs> four grew up to level 47, which is nice. We're gonna set out Hatchrim, which is a psychic and fairy type. Let's use um, four up because fire resists fairy. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly destroy this thing with a pyro ball or two. Seems, um, yeah, we got we got all the memes happening here. Bead is like ramen noodles, and then we got vibe check. You know what the vibe check is? We're gonna be, uh, spamming Pyro Ball until we win. Because that's how Pokemon trainers do it in these days. Back in my day, we actually had to level up and not feed Pokemon can. Um, we got Gotharita over here. Um, let's go ahead and, um, use Elos again. Um, using the dark type move of Sucker Punch. And Gotharita is the evolved form of Gothita, so I guess Bead actually did something. Nice. So let's destroy this little diva over here, please. That that zoom up of his... You know what? I want... Bead, your smile sucks. I bet your mom was, like, crying or either laughing at your yearbook picture. Like, seriously. I'm gonna make a yearbook picture of him. I'm gonna make it the cringiest thing ever, so it'll pop up on screen right now. Alrighty, Light Screen wore off on the other team. They're gonna send out Pony to another Psychic and Fairy type, but I think he can snipe shot the Pony. I have to win this for the Chairman. You really think I'd let you keep from me from everything that I want? You know what that's called, little kids? It's called Spoiled Brat. My little pony, my little pony, copyright. Okay. 
let's just quickly destroy this thing. And, um, thankfully, Bean is down. Because he's causing some trouble. Being bad boy. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. Nope, no do-overs. But what you do have is a duo Jin. But why? How can this be? How can someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite, someone who could shoulder the future of the Gala region. Challenge a beat! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, stinky, we got the big bosses. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kapraha. I can't believe you'll try to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy historical sight. Who cares for some ancient room and the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon symbol team or something? How do you expect to support the Chairman with that sort of thinking? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! I wouldn't be talking like that in front of the administration. Young bid. It pains me to have to say this, but I'm um, truly disappointed. It's true that I'm the one who found you back when you were all alone. So we didn't have a mom. I saw talent in you. Reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school, to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural? Part of Gala's history? You show no love towards Gala. You are clearly not a worthy challenge. Err. For the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna stop. Bead ramen noodles is gone. We don't want to deal with them anymore. You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we can sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Sorry, kid, but you didn't cook your core the right way. Challenge a bit. I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Henchmen, attack him. Oh, Sonia, and Flota too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yet, we do what we must to do. Keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know what? The, the chairman has a point here. And ciao for now. You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Now I feel bad saying that he has a mother. Apparently it was Bo Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for his chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. What? Holy cow. So the mural did break. This seems to be the statue of those Pokemon that we found in the forest, and I think she's drawing some conclusions. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? All I see is a sword and a shield right here. Right. More than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield, as if they were using them. And there's one in the dog's mouth, and one right on the dog's face. Any conclusions? Anything else look interesting to you? Um, they look similar. Oh, good observation! There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only... Why only the one statue at the butt who drop in? It's called People Get the Memo Wrong. More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... Uh, shield better. 
Yup, I was thinking the same thing. Sonia likes the shield Pokemon. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes. The sword and shield were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden with their stories were depicted in artwork? Sometimes we'll never know. With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks! I'll give you a couple of these so you can keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be heading to Balanlee next, right? She keeps giving us two revives. Is that telling us something? Alrighty then! It's the statues that were hidden behind Stoneside's famous mural. They depict two heroes and two Pokemon. That is a really cool mural wall. That looks incredible. Nonetheless, guys! That's pretty much it for today's video. I think that's a good stopping point. Next video, we're going to have to visit Balanly, which I don't really know where it is on the map. Let's check the map real quick. Okay. Balanly is up here. And we have to go through the Glimwood Tangle next. So I guess the next stop is to the Glimwood Tangle. I was going to go there anyways. So I guess it's a nice time to, you know, get settled in and... Get ready for the Glimwood Tangle. But that's it for today's day video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it was a pretty long video. And hopefully you liked the depression yet. Um, bead roasts and all that cool stuff. But thank you so much for watching. I gotta go. So I can't spin. So bye bye.